Hello YouTube, how you doing? Yeah, me too. Anyway, let's forget all that for a minute. Um, I've got a quick little job to do today. Um, I've done this kind of before, uh, and that's um, looking at the spark plugs in, in the car. Um, but today I'm going to change the spark plugs. They've been in there now for a couple of years, so I'm just going to get on with it basically. I'm not going to make a long drawn out video about this because it's a dead simple task to do, but you know, it, uh, it might be interesting to somebody, may help somebody. Um, it's really not a difficult job to do. Um, and hopefully by watching videos like this, you know, you'll have the confidence to do it. So, let's get on with it. So, the engine cover's off, uh, so i just got to find the spark plugs, um, which are, um, which, which, um, which, ah, hold on a minute. Ah, wrong car. Diesel. Yeah, I know, poor attempt at humour, but uh, yeah, it's the best I got. Right, let's get the cover off and get into the plugs. As you can see, the cover's now off. And basically there's a couple of bolts in there that you have to take out and then uh, this whole reel will come off. Little clips on there, you just, with your thumb, push them back, you can hear them click like that. And then that will enable you to take the whole rail off, like that. Ooh, nice camera work Reeves, yeah, as always. There you go. <laughs> so now that comes off. The coil packs and all we've got to do now is lift the coil packs out one by one what i tend to do is get uh, a pry underneath them uh, just to lift them out so let me go and get that uh, plastic pry and uh, we'll take them out so you obviously don't want to go too mad on these because they are plastic and over time obviously they deteriorate so i've got these plastic trim levers and just get that under there like that and give it a little bit of a wiggle Let's use this one. There you go, a little bit of a wiggle like that, and just manipulate it from side to side, like that, and then eventually it will come up. Right, I need two hands to do this, so let's go for it. So, as you can see, we've got the coil packs out and uh, they are a bit tricky to get out because obviously you've got a weather seal on there to keep all the nastiness out. So they do take a little bit of prying, but uh, I don't go and force them with a screwdriver or anything like that because, as I say, they are just plastic. So now they're off, all right, let's get the spark plugs out. Now, the thing I do to make it easier on myself is get two extension bars, tape them together with a little bit of masking tape. And what I'm gonna do now is obviously put that on as well. And I'm going to do the same on that end as well. I find if you don't mask and tape them together, um, you let yourself have it. Somebody's got the Harley out. Either that was playing in the field, one or two. Um, yeah, where was I? <laughs> if you don't mask and tape them together, when you put it in there, that happens. Okay, And you don't want that coming off inside there because it makes your life a lot more difficult. So, give me a minute and we'll take that up and start taking the plugs out. So there you go, that's what I mean, all taped up so it's not going anywhere, it'll come off at the top end there but I don't care about that. So get it nice and tight in there, make sure you've got it seated well on the plug, because uh, if you round that off you've got no chance of getting it out. Okay, suck it on there, make sure you're going the right way, so lefty loosey, righty tighty, and push it away from you, and there you go. Shouldn't be that tight. If they're really loose you've got problems but they shouldn't be to the point where you're struggling to get them out uh, if they are you put them in too tight last time or they've rusted in there and you're not changing them often enough so that one out and what i'm going to 
do now is have a quick look at the first plug. And to me, there's a bit of soot around there, which is fine. Uh, but the soot doesn't matter at all. Um, if it's absolutely coked up with soot, that's uh, that's not good. But as you can see, the electrode itself and everything else is pretty white, pretty clean. So to me, we're burning pretty good. Just one little supplemental while I think about it. Make sure on your new plugs, that top bit is tight. Some of these will screw off and if they're loose, you're going to get problems. Right, let's get the new, what, the old plugs out? Get the new plugs in. So I popped into the, uh, the very messy garage at the moment and um, got my new plugs here. What I am going to do is, uh, I'm not going to do this on camera because it's, it's pointless, is just quickly check the gaps. Now they, they should come pre-gapped um, but I'm just going to make sure that uh, they are correct and they are right before I put them in. So they all checked and they were all spot on. Uh, the ones I'm fitting are, let's see, can you see that? So BKR7EIX. Um, you can either run a 7 or 8 in these, um, I'm running a 7 because, uh, well basically, uh, that's what I've always run and it's always worked really well on those. So um, all we've got to do now is stick them in there. Now what I like to do is put a tiny little bit of copper grease on them, on the threads before I put them in, so on the old one if you can see it. Put a little bit of copper grease on there and then when you put them in, um, they seat nicely and they're a lot easier to get out as well. But uh, basically, there you go, you can see now that's the hole they all fit in. So let's get the new ones in. Doesn't take much. Now obviously when you're putting these back in again, do not force them. Okay, Just drop them in nice and gently, make sure you get as near to the middle as you can until they hit the bottom and then gently with your fingers turn them until you can feel it start to tighten up okay, if you cross thread one of these it's an alloy head and uh, you ain't going to fix it basically you're going to need either a helicore which is a big expensive job or a new head so there you go so just twist it in with your hands and all you want to do is nip them up now bear in mind there's a crush washer on these when they're new so you just want to get them so basically they'll show some resistance and you don't want to put any more, let me just show you, than that kind of leverage on it. Do not hang off the end here because you will mess things up. Okay, they don't need to be that tight. Just need to, like that, just give them a nice snug in. Okay, I think it's about 20 newton meters, which is about standard for just about everything. Um, but I've, to be honest, I've never talked a single spark plug up and I've never had a problem. There you go, first one in. Let's get the rest. coil packs. Just one word on the coil packs, you can't put them in the wrong way round. Well, you can put them in that way round, but you can't put them in totally the wrong way round. They have feet on there that only fit in one way, especially on those. There you go, plugs are in, coil packs are on, the buzz bar is back on again, uh, just got the two bolts to put in and the cover, and uh, I won't do that on camera, that's really boring. And then um, uh, you can join me for the, the big startup. Bear with. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it's all back together apart from the uh, quick clean over. Let's see if you'll start. Alright, here we go. Ah, perfect. You can't beat an S3. Right, that's it folks. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, whatever you're doing, make the most of it. Oh look, engine light. Yeah, that's because I had the muffin plugged. Lasers guys!